What's up, YouTube Nights? Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you and yours. This is TiVo. Welcome to Lords of the Longbox. And this is a Mikey Sutton Geekosity Christmas Scoop Jam Special. That's right, boys and girls. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like, and all that good stuff. But we drop content like this all the time. This is coming from our man, Mikey Sutton. This is part of a multi channel YouTube Scoop Jam that we like to rock on this channel. So let's get right to it, boys and girls. The Hulu horror series that Disney planned for the streaming network may have faded into the abyss when Kevin Feige took over Marvel's TV side in October of 2019, but the dead are about to rise. According to insiders, Feige wants supernatural shows of his own to haunt Disney Plus, but with a twist. Twist is, unlike other Disney Plus shows, these programs will be given an R-rated injection Although Disney Plus does not and will not carry adult content on its menu, the discussed merger with Hulu first broken a collider on December 4th, 2020 is leading to all sorts of possibilities. Hulu is under full control and mostly owned by Disney. By 2024, Comcast will lose 33% stake to Disney. By making Hulu available through a parental lock, Disney Plus will solve its problem, including its 18 and up intellectual properties to its main streaming service. Such a situation would enable Feige to create MCU horror shows without having to water them down. Simultaneously, they can fully embrace the MCU under Feige's creative guidance, unlike the recently canceled Hellstrom, the last gasp of Jeff Loeb's Marvel TV. But what series will these be? Discussions are early, but ideas are being tossed around. Among them, Tomb of Dracula. This is based on the moody, critically acclaimed cult Marvel comic from the 1970s. If it's greenlit, It'll be tied in with the Blade theatrical reboot. Also being discussed is Adventure Into Fear. Taking its title from the short-lived Marvel comic series, only 31 issues over five years that once housed Morbius, this is currently being envisioned as an anthology of sorts, a revolving door of various horror characters such as Man-Thing, Marvel Zombies, and Satana. More, a more comics-accurate version than what was in Hellstrom, although she was pretty badass in Hellstrom. This is also what Loeb was calling his horror line for Hulu. Next one being discussed, Deathlock. Technically not horror, but dark, violent, violent science fiction. The futuristic character appeared on Marvel's Ancients of S.H.I.E.L.D. played by J. August Richards. If Doc Deathlock is produced, he will be recast. In the comics, several people have been equipped with the Deathlock cybernetic, cybernetic text, so, many, so any changes... Could easily be explained away. Easy for me to say, right? Anyway, next up is being discussed is Clea. That's right. Doctor Strange's sorceress girlfriend will either have her own show or share one with Jericho Drum, otherwise known as Brother Voodoo. More recently, Doctor Voodoo in Strange Tales. Sources added that Voodoo will probably get the series not as he's more marketable, especially because of his name. And next, the most talked about one, most obviously, is Ghost Rider, The Midnight Suns. Maybe introduced in one of the new Blade movies, as I skyped, as Mikey scooped here back on August 21st, Marvel Studios sees him as the perfect vehicle for a mature TV show while making theatrical appearances as well with his freakish partners in the Midnight Suns. In the months ahead, development will begin to commence and reveal who is really going to generate scares on Hulu. So there you go. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in this section below. What do you guys think? Are you guys really hyped for the new dark horror theme stuff that we've been hinting at for years now almost seems like two years really i mean if originally it was jeff Loeb's plan but unfortunately he didn't work out uh with kevin feige now what feige wants to do he doesn't he wants to merge them into disney plus so he has that disney plus budget to work with not the hulu budget which you know it, obviously his shows were i uh, don't quite have the same uh, luster as the disney plus shows has as as we've seen with the mandalorian and we'll soon seen with wandavision so that's it, boys and girls. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if we don't see you. But as always, keep digging in them long boxes and peace out.